Let's continue on and talk about the arms, okay? So for the arms, I'm going to want, obviously, to extrude out from here uh, to create the arm coming down. And I want to be respective of the edge flow. And I want it so I can put a loop around the chest and then it goes around the shoulders as well. So to do this, I'm going to, um, maybe I'll just tap the space bar and go into my perspective window, right click, go to face. I'm gonna select this face and I'm gonna click on my extrude and I'm gonna click on this middle scale handle and bring it in like that, okay? And maybe, and pull that out a little bit like that. Not extrude it out, but just kind of pull it out like that. And now I'm gonna send a split down the center here. Okay, and you can see that went all the way around. That's what I want. And I'm going to start, um, if I select these faces, I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Circle Eyes. I'm going to hold down Control Shift. I'm going to click on that. And now I can click on this, and you can see what it did. Okay. Now after it does that, I could go and I can twist it a little bit if I need to. I could also maybe scale it a little bit smaller okay rotate it maybe a little bit okay great so that's kind of a better start to get the arm coming out and now I'm, I'm going to do another extrude and pull that out basically to the end of the shoulder like that and you can see that it, yes it looks weird up here I could go grab these vertices I could just kind of push them back like that Okay, good. And once again, it's looking a little weird now, uh, but that's okay. I can maybe grab this and push that back and maybe this one as well. Okay. And now I feel like what I really want is I want um, there to be a part coming down here. And it looks like actually, hold on here, I'm going to, um, I'm going to put an it edge loop right here as well, okay? And that's going to help to um, I, I, to create the um, armpit area. So now I've got this area here. I'll grab these, kind of pull that out. And I can even select like this edge and this edge, kind of push that back here. Or maybe grab this vertex and push this back. So you can kind of get tight in here, uh, but that's okay. Now I've got kind of this more of this um, armpit area. Notice that I'm really not looking at my, um, at my reference too much right now. I'm just trying to get something going and now maybe I grab these faces here, and that's what's gonna come down as my arm, okay? So to do that, I'm just gonna click Extrude, pull that down a little bit. Notice that if I keep pulling it, it's gonna look kind of weird like that. So um, maybe to get rid of that, what I could do is I could select these. And then another trick is, let's see, if I go to Actually, yeah, I'll just click extrude. I'm gonna pull that out a little bit like this, and then I'm going to get off of that tool. And then I could manually select these faces. And then scale like this, and also scale it vertically like that. And now you can see that kind of straightens that out. And now I can kind of bring this down like this. and bring this to the wrist area. There we go. Maybe rotate this and also scale it. Once again, it's getting off of my image a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and help this out by just grabbing some of these vert vertices, kind of move this up like that. And maybe I'll grab this one and kind of bring this 
down like that. There we go. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. There we go. And now I have this nice, clean kind of ring around where the, um, the arm connects to the torso. And remember that I have symmetry on, so everything that I'm doing on one side is also being done on the other side. Excellent. Um, the other thing too, um, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go here and on these two bottom faces, I'm gonna click on this circle eyes. And now you can see that made that uh, more rounded. That's good. And I think I can afford to kind of start putting in some edge loops in here. Okay, so to do that, I'm gonna click on insert edge loop and maybe I'll put one right at the um, elbow area and then maybe click circle eyes and then I'll move that in place. And if I need to rotate it, I can do that. And I could also maybe scale down a little bit. There we go. Great. Um, I can see that maybe on the forearm, I wanna do the same thing. Maybe I click here and then I could just scale from the center like that. Yeah, there we go. If I'm looking at it from the side here, um, with that loop selected, I could just kind of push that back and then I could double click on this loop, and push that back. That's kind of at, more at the elbow. Okay. It, is it getting a little confusing up here? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, and that's why we want to keep it really low poly at this point, uh, meaning the fewest splits kind of as possible. Um, but I think what I'm going to do here to help myself out is I'm going to actually put another split in and then be really mindful of after I put that in to align it to these areas. So if I put another split right here, first thing I'm gonna do is hit circle eyes. That's gonna kind of help correct the shape a little bit. Now I'm gonna push that in a little bit like that. And then here, I'm going to just kind of scale that maybe like this, maybe rotate it. Okay, that, yeah, something like that. Now I can see that maybe back here is my problem. I could grab these edges, maybe those two edges, and kind of push that back like this to kind of relax that. There we go, that's looking better. And maybe back here as well. And now I can see that it's now aligning better to uh, this view and this view here. And if it's off a little bit, that's okay. I could just kind of grab some of these and push them back. And you can see why if our character was in a T-pose with the arms straight out, it would be kind of easier to model. We don't have to get kind of tangled up in the armpit area. Um, but that's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this point here. I'm going to push that back. Maybe this one as well. All right, hey, making some great, great progress here. And what I wanna show is what's important um, in the future, actually, hold on, before I do that, I'm just gonna grab this one here, it looks like, and I can pull that in like that. And if I press four for wireframe, I could actually see kind of uh, x-ray view in the inside. There we go. Okay. Now, if I put an edge loop in, okay, don't do this, but just kind of watch. I can see that that edge loop goes all the way around the chest and the shoulders around like that. Okay, that's good. That's what I want. I can also see that if I put an edge loop here, it goes all the way around the arm. So here it goes around the chest. And then here, I can see that it kind of goes like that. And then from here, it's just gonna kind of keep going down the arm. Okay, so those are my edge loops and kind of the edge flow that I'm looking for right now. And um, I think that's a great stopping point for this video. And then I'll continue on um, in the next lesson.